So today we've got our first radio interview, they're pre-recording it and then uh, we are going to be filming it, well vlogging it, vlogging it, quite excited about that. It's for BBC Radio Somerset, so even though it's uh, quite a small channel, they've got uh, 55,000 viewership, so that's fairly big. Well, that's quite big, actually. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a massive amount, so really excited about that. Um, yeah, so we're just going to vlog what's happening today. That's about it. No, Mum's not here yet, but she will be soon. Okay. Are you nervous? Huh? No, not really. So we're on our way now to um, the BBC studios uh, for Somerset. Uh, like I said before, 55,000 um, listeners. That's not at one time. I'm guessing probably at one time it's going to be like three. Because it's Somerset and it's quite small. Are you excited, Mum? Yes. Are you nervous? No. Not at all? Oh, I'm lying. I'm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm not very good at public speaking. I don't know what they want to ask about. Exactly, we don't even know why we're going <laughs> in. It could, it could be because they want to talk about our restaurants, because they're quite well known locally as being top notch. Or they could be on about the book, or they could be on about the YouTube channel. We don't. We actually don't know until we get there. So, uh, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, we'll just find out when we get there. Yeah. BBC, isn't that? Did yeah. I let you know anything? I don't know. <laughs> don't they? They're quite good cover news. Cover up, is it? <laughs> Pardon? Cover up. Cover up. I don't think the BBC cover up anything. Do they? Well, don't say that on the radio, though, <laughs> Mum. Okay? Hopefully, um, someone no, might hear us. Cover on up. Um, hear us on I there. I think it's, um, yeah. it's more like promote our YouTube channel. That's what I could guess. Yeah, I'm thinking it's more for our YouTube channel as yes. well. Yes. But who knows? Yeah. Um, I might have used the word cover-up. I don't know why I said that. I don't know, my English is still not really good. It's still too early for me. Yeah, you've, you've only had 38 years to practice. Um, yeah. yeah, so if it is about YouTube, it should be quite easy. Yes. Because I've done a few phone interviews before for um, the Guardian and Media magazine, which is an online magazine. Don't, I've never done an interview with Mum though. No, not with me. We did. Why not that woman? Didn't even. You know that woman? The no, no, lady. That's, no, that's for TV production company. Oh one. yes. Not um. Not a inter that, was, that wasn't even an interview. That was just a telephone call. A telephone call. <laughs> so yeah, this should be good today. So if you're new to the channel, this is Chin and Chew TV. Um, if you haven't been to our other channels before, we have a review channel with 2,000 subscribers and a cooking channel that has six, 67,000 67, subscribers. This is more of a channel that we're just going to upload bits and bobs, rant videos, probably reviews on food that aren't Chinese or um, Malay or Thai related so like if me and mum see a burger at McDonald's or whatever we'll, I'll take mum and review it in there and some vlogs like this um, today so yeah subscribe to those channels please do please and if you um, haven't subscribed to this one make sure you hit that like button and subscribe yeah mum yeah hit like and subscribe anything else you want to add mum keep watching no, no, nothing there. <laughs> We're in the waiting room now. Um, my help, my fiance refuses to film even though we're vloggers. She says it's awkward. Um, so this is the inside of well, a waiting room, really. I don't know why we're here. Meeting room, sorry. So we're, we're, we're well early, we're about an hour and a half early. Well, no, we're not an hour and a half. Half hour early. The guy interviewing us isn't even here yet, so yeah. Do you think this is where they'll film us? Not film. Um, I don't think so. Maybe they I'm not sure. Maybe. Never been on radio before, so I have no idea what's going on. This, I don't think so. I don't think. Nothing here looks like it's going to record any voices. Because that's the only place open on Sunday. Nothing yeah. else. Garden centre. And that's it. Isn't it? What, the, the Holiday Inn? Yeah. 
well mostly used to only open like garden centre open on Sunday and then not not very many places open on Sunday. I think at the time that supermarket not open on Sunday yet. They had a nice kids playroom as well, I remember. Yeah, that is the mountain one. Or was it? Yeah, the No, mountain. the mountain had the swings outside. This one had like a small room and it was grey, but they had cool toys in it. Oh yeah, this one, Holiday yeah. Inn, yes. They were just saying because it's close to... We're just talking about the fact that this um, BBC studio is really close to the Holiday Inn that Mum used to take me as a kid. And they used to do, before it was cool, they actually did a roast dinner in a Yorkshire, giant Yorkshire pudding. Everyone does that now, but back then it was a pretty, pretty groundbreaking. <laughs> is it? It's nice, isn't it? The big Yorkshire pudding. And you had the. Don't you? No. I ate oh. too many of them and then I made myself sick of them. Is it? Oh. Yeah. I like the one that crispy. I don't like the one that too stodgy. Oh, stodgy, they're better. The more stodgy they are, and with extra gravy on top. Mm. No. Yes. It not like not too much paint, not too much flour. Too much flour. No. Yes. Like um, you can get them really nice one. I think the last time we bought, I can't remember what I made was it was really good, the big one, and we put the and Bessie's. Yeah, we put the curry in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, curry and Yorkshire pudding. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a gym. Maybe we'll do a recipe for that on our video. Yeah. Main channel, sorry. Yeah. Jang's. Food workshop, which I forgot to mention earlier, is the main yes. channel. So, back later. So, we've been sitting here for the last sort of three or four minutes discussing something really important. Is that off the hook or not? Now, are they secretly Copy listening that to us? Shift. I think we should just put it back. <laughs> no, we've I literally been leave. debating whether we should put that back on the hook or not. No, I would leave it. Yeah? I should well go knock at the door and say your phone meant to be off the hook. <laughs> this is how riveting Somerset is. We <laughs> <laughs> want to know each other business. Yeah. Hey, pick it up, see if someone's there. <laughs> I won't do that. I think we should just put it back on just the hook. Leave it. I don't understand why we should leave it. Because if someone's trying to call in. Yeah. Put it back on the hook. But what if someone is trying to call? Are you going to answer it and go, hi? No, but. No, true. Maybe someone is there. Uh... It's not working. Just thought I'd say this now. There's a good probability they, they won't actually let us film in this interview. I don't know why I say good probability because they don't actually have an idea. Um, they, they could be fine with it. So, but I'm just saying right now, in, in case they're not, that's why we don't have any footage inside the interview. We're not going to video the whole thing because that'd be pointless, but it'd be nice to get bits and bobs of it, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. But we'll see. That across Somerset, basically. So we found you guys and we thought it'd be nice to have a chat with you about what you're doing in Porlock. Cool. And how you do it and all that sort of stuff, really. Awesome. Great. Yeah. What I'm going to do is just um, angle these a bit closer to you so you can hear what Mark, um, when we teach people how to do Charlie's takeaway food at home. Brilliant. Sounds great. So we've got three. C. Taylor's in the room. Yeah. Now. Oh, you're Charlie I'm Taylor. Charlie Taylor, yeah. So we've got, it's like a family of C. Yeah. Taylor's. It's great, great to have you here. Thank you. Um, so let's talk first of all about you guys. So when did you come to Somerset? What, you mean Somerset? Yeah, as a whole, yeah. When did you come to Portland? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I came here in 1982. Right. What brought you yes. here? Um, my husband, uh, he went out to work in Brunei. Right, okay. And he met me there. Uh, for a restaurant in in these places. Oh, well, this time I of year, it's quite quiet. Yeah, I think it's the type of food we do as well. Well, yeah. I mean, in the summer yeah. we had a two-week long waiting list, so yeah. you couldn't wow. just turn up. Yeah. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, probably. The, obviously, summer time, the population of where we are grows by tenfold, and it's quite transient. So there's always new people turning up, always wanting to try the newer stuff. So we, it's, that's why we're busy in the summer, and then in the winter the population goes from 10,000 to 9,000, well, 900 overnight. Wow, that is a huge change, isn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> <laughs> exaggerating these yeah, figures, but, but it's, it feels point. like that. Yeah, I get It feels point. like that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this first video that you made quite a few years ago, Yeah. Um, why did you make it? What was it that made you pick up a camera and think we should make a how-to video on, on this? 
uh, I realise fetal cancer would be pointing mum. I'm pointing at my mum. She is just, I can't explain that there's something about mum that is really watchable. I mean, our family members and people know us. Um, when we go and have like family meals, our mum's always the life and soul of the party. And, it, and I just thought it translate well into sort of tutorial videos. It took me a while to convince you to start, didn't it? Yeah. But then when, when we started, it was quite, um, Quite fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I noticed a lot of people coming for us through YouTube. Whereas before, it's people finding us, then finding that we had a YouTube channel. Now it's very much people are here for us rather than the, the other way around. Does that make sense? Yeah, I love the idea that you've got these spin off channels from the original. <laughs> yeah. But also, I guess people are coming all this way to Somerset from wherever they happen to be because not just because they want your food, which clearly they do, but also because they want to meet you and see you two together and see that yeah. relationship that they've got on screen. They want to see it in the flesh, don't they? Well, yeah, they don't really want to meet me. They want to meet mum. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, yeah, mum's had to take a few photos now, haven't you? Yeah. You've become yeah. a celebrity. <laughs> yeah, mum's uh, really... No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is great. So what's the future then? Because you've got these other channels, the spin-offs, yeah. Chin and Chew TV and the reviews and stuff. Yeah. So what's the future then? I suppose you just keep building and building uh, your followers. Well, yeah, I mean, ideally, we'd like to take it full time. We'd still like to have restaurants and stuff, but not have to focus solely on that. So in the summer, we wouldn't have to take the breaks because we do love what we do. Uh, like cooking for us isn't just a, a job. It's actually, it's like food is life, isn't it? I think yeah. we've chosen our food and we never want to stop cooking, to be honest. I know mum might do some point in the future, but for, for me right now, I don't want to stop that. And I don't want to stop YouTube, mm. but um, so we're going, to, we're going to have to find a happy medium between the two. Okay, so um, we had some footage of us leaving, and you know, just saying some things at the end of the interview. Uh, but that's all gone. I don't know where that is. <laughs> it's just being, it's just disappeared. Yeah, being camera, a camera. You know what it's like, camera. What? Being cameras, you know what it's like being camera? Yeah, they're not reliable sometimes. You click it and it's not video. It's not video. And then you realise it's not video. It's too late. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. They're temperamental. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you find the interview? Oh, it's really good. Yeah, it was, it was quite fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yes. There was a question that irritated me a little bit and that was the, um, when they said, do you think you're cheeky or disrespectful? Did I turn to you and ask you if you thought I was disrespectful? Did you say that? Yeah, I think cheeky. so. You definitely said, are you cheeky? Cheeky, or... not disrespectful. You said I'm hundred percent sure someone said disrespectful. But uh, anyway, I, I, I... No, you don't, my friend. Yeah, I know, I know I'm not disrespectful. <laughs> oh, people say what they want, you know. No. The mouth is on them, is it? Yeah, the mouth, yeah. They, they have mouth, mouths. Mouths? Mouth. Mouth. Yeah. They have mouth. Yes. No. And also, a lot, of, a lot of the time, all the way through the interview, I kept saying stuff like the Facebook and the on the computer and the YouTube, rather than saying YouTube, Facebook and computer, because I do it as a joke, like the Facebook. No one says the Facebook, they just say Facebook. But I, I do it so often now that I forgot that's not how you speak normally. <laughs> so all the way through, I was just going the Facebook and it just sounds cringy in, in my head going back. But that's just the way it is. Did you? Would you? Anything else you would have done differently? Oh, I wish you'd give us some idea what he's talking about when we when we go in. I thought he was just literally talking about Polo and Polo Weir. Nothing, no much about who we are. Well, no, he did at the beginning. I think that was maybe you were nervous. So you weren't listening. Oh, he yeah. did. He did. He did say, "What? Well, I mean, he did say we're." Um, a show that talks about social media. Oh, all right. I so, can hear him then. Well, maybe you didn't know what social media meant. Yeah. What um, does social media mean? Don't know. Well, social, yes. me social media. Yes. Uh, on TV. No, that's me. Normal media. Social media. What do we do? On, on YouTube. Yeah, and. Facebook. Yeah, and. Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, yes. Alright. On we have the Facebook. Okay. I will now be exclusively saying 
Instagram instead of Instagram, which I know is gonna. Instagram. Is it's it? Insta. Insta. Yeah, but I like Instagram. Instant. No, it's Insta. It stands for Insta. It stands for instant. Oh. But it's the, it's called Instagram. 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 Oh. I always call it called instant gram. I'm gonna call it instant gram now. Instant, it's called it's straight away. Yeah. That's what I thought it's called instant gram, you know? Yeah, but that's that is exactly what it's Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I really enjoyed it. Yes, you did. Um hope I, you I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, if you listen to um the thing BBC Somerset Radio. BBC Somerset Radio, we'll try and link it somewhere as well. Also, um could we Tip it when they will broadcast out. You record it? Yeah. Tape it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can record it. Um, but we can, they're probably going to have a... <coughs> a cassette. Not a cassette. No, they're not going to have a cassette. But <laughs> no one uses cassettes, VHS or Betamax anymore. Not right. They just, yeah. what they do is they just, it will be digitally, digit... There'll be a digital Did version. A link? Yeah, I think oh, right. it'll be on their website probably. And if oh, not, okay. I might be able to ask. Okay. And go to, do you mind if I have a copy of this to okay. put up for right. our viewers? Oh, fan. Yeah. Yes. Um, so yeah, this is the first video that is on Chin and Chew TV. Yes, it's on Chin and Chew, yeah. Yeah, Chin and okay. Chew TV. Okay. Not Chin and Chew reviews. Oh, right. Just Chin and Chew, Chin and Chew TV. Okay. And obviously, this isn't going to go on the main channel either. Oh, all right then. Okay. okay. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Um. This this is going to be new, is it? Yeah. This is good. The new the new channel. Oh, hello, new viewer. No. <laughs> yeah. Actually, hello. For most, more likely that there's going to be people from our other channel coming over. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, hello, old and new people. Yeah, old and new people. Actually, I want to point out how. Like I knew it was BBC, so I knew it was going to be like a like a, a a professional operation, and it was. But for some reason, I just thought it'd be because it's BBC Somerset. I just thought it'd be a second-hand studio. Like I don't know. I just I just thought that the, the equipment might be a little bit older. But when I was in there, it, it's proper. Properly new and professional. Yes, it wasn't is. Wasn't it? Yeah. It yes. was. It was almost like being on Star Trek with all the lights and buttons and stuff. Yes. It was pretty cool. Yes, it was. Hopefully, one day we get to do that again. Yes. Point. Yeah, we can. We can. We can't just turn up, Mum. Well, we can. Then we can't just go. Can we be on the radio today? Yeah, every day. Yeah, uh, no, we can. No. <laughs> no, we can't. It's called. What's it? It's called harassment. It's called harassment. Yeah. It's like stalking. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but um, yeah, okay. so. Yeah, I hope you will call us back one day, very soon. Yeah, you never know. No, I don't okay. think we'll ever have us again. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. Bye. Bye bye.